Aside from the allen wrench, screws, dowels, and screw caps that come with the unit, you'll also need a Phillips head screwdriver, a hammer, and a pair of scissors. The first thing you want to do before you start is cut open your packets and separate all of your pieces into small piles. That way you're not scrambling to find things as you're working. I suggest that you take a look over the diagram to get yourself familiar with what the pieces should look like as you're going along, and that way you don't get to a place in the assembly when you're like, wait a minute, why am I missing dowels? And it's likely because you have more dowels than are necessary in one of the pieces. Okay, so first up is part D, and there are two of part D. And on the first part D, you'll put four dowels, two on each end, And here's the second part D where I'm only inserting two dowels, two on one end. And I'm having a bit of trouble with this one because one of the holes is a little bit bigger than the other so the dowel is loose and falling out but we're gonna make it work. Next up is part C, and we're going to insert four dowels into part C, two on each end. Get those in there like so, flip it over, insert them into the other end. And there you go. Two dowels on each end. Okay, next up is part B. There are two of part B, and you're just gonna insert four dowels, two on each end, the same as part C. And there you have it. Two dowels on each end. Lay that aside. Moving on to the second part B. Same thing, two dowels on each end. Flip that over. Two dowels on this end. This one, um, I don't think the hole, or maybe the dowel was just a little bit bigger than the other, so I had to grab the hammer, and I'm just gonna hammer that in very lightly, just so that they're even. Flip it over, hammer the other end, and it's pretty much even. And there you have it. Okay, so now that we've finished inserting all the dowels, it's time for the fun part, which is the assembly. And we're gonna start with part B and part C. Part B is the left and right side of the unit, and part C is the piece that runs horizontally through the middle of the unit. First, we'll take just one of part B and attach it to one end of part C. Next, we'll take the other part B and attach it to the other end of part C. Now here comes the tricky part, and I made a mistake here. I'm gonna leave it in the video so that you hopefully don't make the same mistake. Remember I told you to only put dowels in one end of one of part D and dowels in both ends of the other part D. Okay, so I picked up part D that only has two dowels inserted in one end, and I'm inserting that into part C so that the other part D can share dowels with that part D. So now I'm looking around like, wait a minute, why do I have four dowels in my other part B? How is it supposed to share dowels with the part D that I already have inserted? So now I'm fumbling, I'm taking dowels out, reinserting them, I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm basically swapping the two part Ds and I'm gonna use the part D that has four dowels in it, two dowels in each end. 
And you can start with either side. I'm just starting with this side because I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. So now I will take the other part D and attach the end that does not have any dowels to the two dowels that are sticking out of part C. That way both of part D shares two dowels. Next it's time to attach part A. Part A is the top and bottom of the unit. So we'll take one of part A and attach it to one end of part B and we'll take the other part A and attach it to the other end of part B. And you have to kind of bang each end of part A into part B just to make sure that they're tight and as soon as you bang on one end, the other end will pop out. So just go back and forth until both pieces are secure to each other. Next we're going to flip the unit upright so that it sets up on the floor. And we'll use the allen wrench and the screws to secure part A to part B. And you want to be careful with this allen wrench because it will ricochet out of your hand onto the unit and you want to make sure that you don't scratch the top of the unit. So just go slowly and hold each end of the Allen wrench and sometimes that doesn't even work. And you can use a drill if you have one but I haven't used my drill in a long time and I don't want to take the chance in stripping the screws and then I can't attach the pieces at all so I'm just going to take my time with the Allen wrench. Finally it's time to cover each screw with a white screw cap so that each screw is concealed and you have a consistent white color. Alright that's pretty much it. Here you have the Better Homes and Garden Cube shelf. It's completely assembled, looking good. I love the white lacquer. I think it looks so much more high end than the white laminate. So I definitely suggest that you get the white lacquer or any color that you choose to get, make sure you get it in lacquer because I don't really like the, I mean you might like the laminate but I don't like the laminate. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to thumbs up the video if you found it helpful and share it with anyone who may find it useful. Also thumbs up the video if you love Chick-fil-A sauce because that is what's on my pants throughout this entire video. My bad. If you're interested in purchasing this shelf, I will have a link to it in the description box down below. If you've already purchased it, I'd love to hear what you think about it in the comment section. I will say that I'm very impressed with how easy this unit was to assemble. I feel like the hardest part had to be getting that box open. I feel like they might have used cement or something to glue it shut. And I mean it took every bit of strength inside of me to get it open. So if you're not like the overly muscular type, be prepared to spend like 10 minutes just tearing it open and you're going to have to take breaks in between. I mean, scissors wouldn't cut through the glue. The struggle was real to get that box open. Please do click subscribe if you would like to see more assemblies and DIYs and shopping for my DIYs and vlogs and cooking and all that good stuff. And I will see you next time. Bye bye